The people who call Eight Mile home say it literally stinks to live there. And now they're claiming that stench caused by a Mercaptan gas leak nearly a decade ago is killing them by causing all sorts of health problems. Dozens of residents marched from Bienville Square to the federal courthouse in an effort to get an outside agency to investigate the decade-old incident because they say it's been handled by Mobile Gas and ADEM, and that's not enough. News 5's Emily DeVoe visited 8 Mile, where people claim the stench has turned from just plain annoying to deadly. They just kept saying she was sick. Catrice Williams doesn't know what caused her mom's death two months ago. I really think it has something to, something to do with what's going around up in here in 8 Mile, the smell that's going on up here. Mm -hmm. And that's, what, that's my belief, because the doctors never really told us what was going on. She claims her mom started having breathing problems and seizures after a gas pipeline leaked to Mercaptan gas nearly a decade ago. And she's seeing the same problems in her son. They didn't know what was wrong with him, but he was on a ventilator. He was out for like, they had him sedated for like three days. He was just having seizures. I don't want my son to live like that. But Mercaptan, which obviously smells bad, has never actually been linked to any health problems. That makes it hard for 8 Mile residents to prove their case. We have been ignored for now eight years. We've been told that the health issue was all made up, that there were no health ramifications from this chemical, and we know that there are. Claretta Davis is leading the efforts to get an external investigation into the effects of the decade-old spill. She points to a similar incident in California last year that was taken care of within months. The California case was handled much swifter and with much more enforcement because of the social economic makeup of that community. Everybody want to answer. Whether or not that's the reason, people like Catrice still feel left in the dark. I just want to answer what really happened to my mom. I want to know. Could that have had something to do with it? And that's one question that will be hard to ever answer. In 8 Mile, Emily DeVoe, News 5. We reached out to the Alabama Department of Environmental Management. The agency has been investigating the spill and its effects since it happened. They sent us a statement which says they've identified where the contaminated soil and water areas are and have conducted more than 250 odor evaluations since 2012. The statement also says they're coordinating with Pritchard leaders to schedule another public meeting with the people who live there.